Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another video. My name is Caitlin Dyke, in case any of you are new here. And today's video is going to be kind of like a day in my life, as you probably caught on already. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm mainly a stay-at-home wife. Um, not for any other reason than just that there isn't really job opportunities in the area we live in for me. So, um, shortly after we got married, I actually started a small sewing business and I do that from home and I still do that. So today is going to be a busy day of sewing. Um, I'm finishing up a wedding dress and also planning to so a bridesmaid dress. So that's what my plan is for today. Um, and I'm just going to take you guys along with me. Um, yeah, you can kind of get an idea of what my days look like. So I just got done with um, breakfast and having my devotions and kind of my routine that I do every morning. Um, so I think before I start working, I'm going to maybe go on a little walk and check the mail and stuff. It's just nice to clear my head before I sit down and use my brain really hard all day. So yeah, it's actually snowy outside. It is crazy. It's like April 21st, I think today. And last night it just randomly started snowing. So yeah, that's kind of crazy, but it's just so beautiful. And I know my little pea plants definitely will not mind, so I'm okay with it. Just gonna show you what it looks like outside my window. So bright, so beautiful. I just got back from the post office and I got a package that I'm really excited about. Um, so I won like a couple like essential oils in a giveaway a while back and my friend sent them to me. Look how tiny and cute. This one's lavender. I don't know what that is, but I'm mostly excited about the lavender. And another one. They're so, so cute. Thanks, Eunice. You're the best. So I'm just up in my office. I'm ready to get to work. This room is actually our next project on the list for home renos and I am so excited about it. I'm gonna, yeah, definitely put a video together of the whole process, but yeah, anyways, let's get to work. So I'm hoping that it's okay that I show this. I'm definitely gonna be checking with the bride, but this is what I'm working on right now. Um, I need to make my mannequin taller, but there's actually a cute little train in the back of this dress that you can't see right now. And I'm gonna show you the back of it. Look how pretty. This is definitely my favorite part, making all these, um, putting all these buttons on the back. I just need to, like, it's not even closed right now, but anyways, so what I'm going to be working on is putting a little belt around. Um, normally I would do that before I close the back, but um, that did not happen, so <laughs> I'm going to just open it up here a little bit and then sew the belt into there and close it back up, and this dress is going to be done. I am so excited about it.
I'm so excited. It's definitely going to need some ironing, but I'm going to let the bride do that because it probably won't stay ironed by the time it gets to her house. But anyways, I'm so excited. Okay, so the next thing I am getting ready to do is make a bridesmaid dress. Um, it's for the same wedding um, as that wedding dress I just finished. So yeah, it would, the wedding is actually in like two days and <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I normally do not wait this long um, to finish up a project or whatever, or like I don't do it so short notice, but because of different things, the wedding got bumped up like an entire month pretty much. So. Yeah, I didn't have as much time as I thought I would, and I only found out last week, or yeah, last week. So I'm quickly trying to finish it, and hopefully everything turns out good and fits good. Normally I like to have fittings and stuff like that in between, but obviously that's not going to work out this time. So we're just going to do our best and yeah, just try to get this all done in time. So. This is the material we're working with. It looks way brighter on camera. Oh my goodness. It's not this bright. But anyways, yeah. Gonna start cutting it out now and figuring it out. This is where so much brain work goes into it. Like you have to calculate like extra room and then you have to like, I don't know, divide it among all the pieces. It's yeah, definitely a lot of brain work and I think I'm going to put some music on because that often just kind of like seems to help me think if I just have some nice music playing in the background and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what we're going to do now. for a little lunch break. I literally never do this, but I ordered some lunch from a little um, diner in town, so I'm gonna go pick that up. Um, I do normally make my lunch, but today I was feeling a bit lazy and I decided it was okay because I never do this anyways, so yeah. I just got back and it is massive. I am sure I won't be able to eat it all, but anyways. I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna have a little lunch break and then we will meet you back upstairs when I'm ready to continue working. <laughs> I'm finally done with lunch. I just had a little bit of a chill time eating lunch and yeah, watching some of my favorite show. Um, so now I'm gonna go back to my sewing and I think I'm going to make a coffee before Going back up just because it's still snowy outside. It just feels like I need something warm to drink to keep me motivated and warm and feeling cozy. <laughs> Got my coffee and I'm ready to continue working. Okay, so I'm finally done cutting out. That was a little bit more complicated to cut out, but I'm really excited to get sewing on it. I think it's gonna turn out so good and I'm just really excited about it.
some orange juice, trying to remain happy and hydrated. <laughs> oh, I actually just took a little break from sewing because I was getting a little frustrated, so I find it's better to take a break and cool down before I keep going because otherwise I'm not going to be happy with the results because if I'm frustrated, I'm probably going to try to be hurrying and I don't want to do that. So, yes, now I'm going to keep going. I have the skirt done. There it is in the background. stop for the day it's definitely turning out pretty good I like how it's turning out anyways there's a bit of a ruffle on the side there and I'm just gonna have to do some things like um, sewing it together here yet just do a little hand stitch so it's completely hidden and right now I just have it pinned shut so I'm gonna have to just do a zipper yet so yeah then we're done I'm so excited Another thing I'm going to have to add to it yet is a belt, but I think that it won't be attached. It's just going to be something that kind of you can just tie around, tie at the side. I think that's how she wants it, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop sewing for the day. It has been a full day of sewing, and I'm ready to be done. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to clean up my office a little bit here and then I'm going to go start on supper. Okay, so I was planning on filming while I make supper and I completely forgot about that. Um, I'm still working on it. I'm frying up some hamburger here um, and we're going to have like haystacks for supper. So. That's going to be yummy. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. That is amazing. And yes, I completely forgot to film any of it. I was going to at least um, show you guys my plate of food. But I only thought of it after I had it all mixed together. And it didn't look very good then. So, <laughs> But it was really good. Um, so, yeah, anyways, um, my husband is gone for the evening, so I think I'm going to just wrap up this video. I'm just going to clean up supper, and I want to maybe do a little bit of, um, I don't know, self-care, a little bit of, maybe do a face mask and a hair mask. I don't know what all, but just kind of get nice and rested and gonna continue sewing tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate each one of you guys. The support that I have gotten means so much to me and I'm just so thankful. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I can't wait to see you next week.